Musette the Poet, a poet for all occasions. Church, weddings, family reunions. Visit www.musette.com. The second piece is entitled A Liberty Bell. Tribute to our roots. You see, the all that was forgotten, and when it became sunrise on the plantation, some slaves woke up from the dreadful night, while others hung on a tree by the sunlight. Some ran away, some got away, so that we all can have freedom today. Oh, this is no mystery. Uh-uh. But this is our history. As the ravens cry down by the big house in Mississippi, the slaves pray for salvation. To go home to see the royal city. Because life here on earth wasn't too pretty. And it's sad when we wake up to our reality to know that we're bound to the chains of slavery. And all we risk death because we'd rather die free. Because death was the only way that we could have liberty. Let me take you back to the hands of time when slavery was no crime and we were sold from dawn to dusk and we had no opinion what was going on with us. The moments of the slashing and bashing and hearing our bones cracking. Let's not forget the experience of the hangings and of church burnings and restrictions on learning. Ever working, never earning, with wagon wheels turning, with white sheets with holes in them, and being tied to railroad tracks and whips on our backs. Let's go back to the days when slavery ended, which we farmed the land on which they depended, which was called sharecropping, which was another way for them to start robbing the black man without any problems. We have to teach our children not to hate their own kind, just like we did in the past. I know, yes, we made inventions that did last. The traffic signal, the truck refrigeration, and the gas mask. So you see, I know that we're up for the task. All over the states, people of color that paved the way, leaders like Booker T, down to the NAACP. We had C.J. Rogers, who researched our black history so that our minds could be free. And Madam C.J. Walker, which was the first black woman a millionaire with hair products for our colored people. Oh, listen to me and let me teach you. And Mary McLeod Bethune has served as a special assistant to President Roosevelt on monetary affairs. We're moving up America, now beware. And Malcolm speaks from the prison walls down to the masjid halls. Revolution and philosophy. And oh yes, Dr. Martin Luther King marched on Washington in 1963. Philip Randolph has stopped segregation in the United States Armed Forces. We're marching to Zion. There's no more crying. And on December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white man. Oh, how I ask myself, how can them will be free from bondage and poverty? And yes, we'll have education and equality. And this world can be changed by people like you and you and you and me. I am, I am Musette for the love of God. Indeed. Amen. Musette the poet, a poet for all occasions, church, weddings, family reunions. Visit www.musette.com.